I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Belgium against Italy. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Well, they fancy a short one. Corner once more. And played short. Tremendously strong in the tackle. De Bruyne. Vertonghen with it. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Well, sadly, you've got to say, it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it let him down badly. That's a poor effort. Bonaventura. And teammates around him. An effective challenge. Luca Bacchio. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. And fed forwards. And they got into that crossing position, but dealt with defensively. This is looking threatening. And let's give credit to the defending. Making a bit of headway. Timely intervention. Artur Teat. Bonaventura Raspadori feeding it through oh good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted well the teams are locked together will it stay that way following this corner they take it short and a very good challenge Carrasco, De Bruyne, has eyes for goal, that is how to keep it out of the net. Federico Chiesa, Di Marco, oh, what can they do to stop him running at them? Oh, he's left his marker for dead, well he read that brilliantly at the back. Now the counter-attack looks on. Can they use their pace? De Bruyne. Thwarting him. Can he do it? Oh, good. 
good work to deny the opportunity. He succeeds in clearing it. Damian. And we will have just one additional minute. The first half here comes to an end. Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. And he might be through here. Terrific piece of anticipation. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work hard. To oh, opportunity off. here, Stuart. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Barella. De Bruyne. And Italy regaining possession. That's useful play. Lukaku in position. But at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Taking care of business defensively here. Promising looking attack from Belgium. Oh, and a penalty has been awarded. Big moment here. Can they get themselves ahead? And it has been judged to have been a bookable offence. Well, I think the referee's got that right all round. It was a penalty and it was a yellow card. This to make it 1-0. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here we can see it again, and he's done well to read the intentions, but just can't get a touch on it as it sails over him. So close to being a fantastic stop. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Barella. Now the pass not finding its target. Lukaku might fancy it, you know. Well, it didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. But he's certainly not alone. And no joy as far as the cross was concerned. An effective challenge. Will he play it in? Oh, what a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. Just 15 minutes remaining. And the substitution will occur now. Mancini. Well, that's common sense refereeing to play advantage. Chiesa. This could level it. Oh, but the... And pushed onto the woodwork. Now can they counter clinically? Chances on. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? 
that's good goalkeeping. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Belgium finding space on the flank. Has eyes for goal. It was on its way in. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Put in by De Bruyne. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Vertonghen. Now with Tielemans. And there it is, a penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. And a chance maybe to settle this. And the penalty is converted. A goal it is. And now he can exhale. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Jorginho and the final whistle an acceptable outcome from a Belgian point of view a victory for them here Stuart sum it up for us well Derek it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior had better individuals and were always a threat going forward it was a really good performance and a good result as well Kevin De Bruyne incisive and influential how would you sum up what you saw from the Belgian well, he certainly had an impact on the result, not least from 12 yards. He always looked confident, though. You just didn't expect him to miss.